I'm Richard N, and I did the cover for the Space Issue 3 with Gareth Lydiard biting into the world. I think I was drawing before I even, like, was aware of what I was doing, basically. Um, I've been drawing my entire life. Um, it was just a way of representing my imagination in a lot of ways. I would draw, like, fantasy worlds with my friends when I was a kid. I remember there being a big phase of being really into gorillas, as many people who are both into music and cartoons were in 2005-ish. Um, and just wanting to do the same thing with my art. When I was a kid, I used to be really into meatloaf, which is one of my father's passions. Um, had a sort of narrative story to it, and I found that that really stimulated my imagination. Um, and so I used to like draw from there. As I've gotten older, I've become more interested in music history, um, and sort of realized over time that the music history that I'm interested in is more about like narratives and the people involved. Like I'm interested in sort of those Seattle grunge scene, and that's mostly because there's this whole story around. Uh, the various people involved, there's the Kurt Cobain thing or your No Wave Sonic Youth thing. So I guess those stories influence my, um, uh, the stories that I write and they're articulated in their music and then I use the music to influence what I'm drawing. I think because I am queer, and as I said earlier, uh, like my art and my characters are like a part of me, so I tend to write and draw about queer characters and queer ideas, stuff that I was struggling with or am struggling with. I just, like I didn't feel happy about what I was going through. I felt angry and resentful and hurt, um, and so I didn't understand everyone around me being really into you know, happy celebrations of uh, their identity. And although that's totally legitimate, it's not something that I feel. And a lot of my work has been a reaction against that. I want to articulate um, an anger and a resentment, I suppose. I feel that it's been a big shame that your like, a 90s zine culture, your band zines, fan zines, uh, underground comic scenes have all been lost through that and um, when those things were very powerful and like uh, gave voice to people who felt very much like cast by the wayside there were um, scenes about like say, say there were scenes about bands that wouldn't have a big press following and so it was a way to talk to other fans about that or to write little essays about this song or their feelings on this or various things like that. Um, similarly with comics, if they couldn't get a publisher because their art, like, art style was so weird or because they wanted to tell more adult stories, then it was a way to self-publish that. And for that to be totally chucked out in favour of um, just really non-offensive things, like really kitsch things. Um, makes me quite angry. Like I'd like to get my book published and I'd like to get my band famous sort of thing, I guess. When it comes to cartoons, things like that, I would like to have, uh, be able to publish a comic book series or a comic book, like a graphic novel. I have more recently been um, applying my art to uh, doing like band posters, things like that when people ask. And that's nice, it's fun. Um, it's more like a visual representation of ideas, it's more than a to representation or anything like that. So while I enjoy it and it's a way of getting my art out there, it's not the same for me. Yeah, not what I would ultimately like to do. I'm not a graphic designer. I'm a cartoonist, you know? <laughs>